Explain to us what this look is. It's called the duke -arama. Welcome back. So here we are, the master suite. I know what you're thinking. Hey, didn't you say you guys were gonna take a break from remodeling for a while? Well, guess what? We lied. What's happening is we're in the master bedroom and bathroom, which we, yes, do intend to like redo down the line, like a big one, kind of like the guest bathroom. But for right now, we're just like doing some minor things like new flooring, New shower unit, because the one that's in there is like so disgusting. Let me show you. Oh, it is a two handle. Who knew? You motherfucker. I, I said that. Aren't we ordering it anyway and we haven't? But you can, so can, does it matter? You can probably change it. So we have it cleared out. As you can see, we have tried to make light repairs, but I figure in the spirit of vlogging our bathroom repairs and I know I just barely put up the guest bathroom video but hopefully this one doesn't take quite as long so I wanted you to see sledgehammer versus the bathroom I'm gonna hit that corner all right ready Jesus that sounded like a gunshot I don't like loud noises that would be a lot worse this is for you, Mike Simmons. Hey, hey. Can I tell Mike you got a little uh, eager and decided to start demo without him? And I'll do it again. <laughs> and now for a tile. That didn't do shit. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Well, here we are, the end of day one. This is what I love about Mike and his crew. They don't fuck around. Today was demo day. All the drywall is gone except for where the cabinets are. Flooring is completely gone, which I appreciate that they were able to do this all in one day because the type of tile that we had was such an undertaking, I'm sure, as you saw, based on how much Andrew struggled to try to get the flooring off. But I am pleasantly surprised, besides the hole where the toilet is does not look great, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'll spare you the details on that. But I'm actually surprised that there is not more extensive water damage because our shower was just so like cracked and shitty because of how old it was. So, you know, and so it looks good. Sorry about the fan noise, but there's nothing I can do about it. This old cabinet is gonna go as well. It looks so much better already. I mean, <laughs> I know it's just getting rid of all the old stuff, but still, I, I've i wanted to do this for so long. We originally were wanting to do our whole like bathroom remodel for our master, but it's just too expensive right now for us. We have a lot of other things that are in the works. And so there's just no way that it was gonna happen right now. But at the very least, we can get some new flooring down and then get it upgraded a little bit so it looks better. So that's the end of day one. Hello. Don't mind me. I took a nap. Yes, I took a nap with makeup on. <laughs> I'm just gonna bombard you with kisses, but you have to not film. Here's the tea. There's drywall again, which is good. She's up. Frank, our favorite man on this planet in construction, is gonna be here tomorrow to do the rest of the drywall work. But, I think I have a clip of this. If not, I'll say it now, just to clarify. This little nicho was a former exterior window. So it was just like behind the wall. Now we have a little, little this. So we're gonna be using that. I'm gonna put plants there. I don't know, maybe a picture of Duke in his bathrobe. <gasps> I should print Duke's spa picture. Anyway, so the drywall's back up. We need to paint. We need to paint Okay. this weekend. We're gonna be painting and then our flooring allegedly, according to Lowe's, because they said there was a mistake, but then there wasn't, is, is, is a little confusing. At any rate, our flooring might be here tomorrow. It might be here on the 10th. Who knows? She's coming along very nicely. I'm so happy 
because like we wanted to improve this room and like obviously of course we would have loved to have done our huge like redo of the bathroom but i think this is just as nice are you fucking farting i hate it here no more kisses ever why <laughs> All right, week one is done. Well, kind of, because Frank's gonna be here on the weekend because Frank's an angel and he's working on a Saturday for us. So that's it. Oh, hello. You guys like my new cup? I just got it yesterday. From Zambiland at the farmer's market. Anyhow, somebody was very nice and got me coffee this morning. We got a call this morning and our flooring is actually here now, which is great because we'll at least have it because I would rather have it and if the guys need more time to like do other stuff that comes up then you know we're not like waiting on flooring basically what I'm trying to say is I I hate waiting on things to be coming in I would rather we just have everything and then they can just install it and be done and then we're gonna go pick up the flooring and then we're supposed to paint today we'll see how that goes oh hey welcome back we just took the world's quickest trip to Denver and back for a free companion pass from Southwest. But while we were gone, Frank was here. That's our boy, Frank. So we're looking pretty good. The shower is reinforced because at first there wasn't drywall behind it, so we had to fix that. And then Frank did some work on our current drywall because it was not the best. But I think now it's ready for paint. We got the floors covered because they were working on drywall. So the flooring is installed. I think the drywall is done, so I'm pretty sure that means that today I can paint. So I've done like swatches basically. So where there's little black spots, that's where it's gonna be black, white spots, etc. So this is, because the window is on this wall, this is where our, the head of our bed is gonna go. And then I guess we'll figure out a TV situation. The problem is if we were to put our bed on this wall, we don't have space for nightstands because of this here step that goes into the middle bedroom but I think, I think we can make it work. I feel like what we might end up doing is just like mounting a TV on the wall or something. Cause this, that's the thing about this house is like, it has good space, but it's just not allocated properly. And so like, there's no good way to do it. I mean, we, when we used to have this as our bedroom, the head of the bed was on this wall, which like when you first walk in the back door of our house, you can like, look to your right and then you basically would just see us sitting if we were in bed. I also feel like I might go to Big Lots or something and get some black curtains, so it's looking good. We're getting there. It's it's coming together. I look terrible. Look at this. But at least we're making progress. Okay, so this wall is just about finished. As you can see, we just have some of the edge still up here. And then this wall we're cranking on the Sistine Chapel, AKA the ceiling we're working on. So this is the start of week three. Uh, yeah, no. Yes, this is the start of week three. I'm sorry, I don't feel good as you can hear. Just doing a check-in, bathroom's completely painted. I guess I should probably show you. So my friends came to help me this weekend. And so we did some painting. We did black ceiling in here with this like grayish white walls. And then here we're doing black is like the accent walls. And then the grayish color is gonna be the main walls. And then also the door frames and this trim is gonna be black. I'm gonna paint the cabinets in here too cause we're keeping them for now. Good progress today. We have a change order that we needed to put in because you know, just things came up. Thankfully Mike, our contractor is really cool about stuff like that. So we're gonna get some outlets or an outlet and the light switch moved. And then we should be done by the end of this week, hopefully. That would be nice because then maybe this weekend we can move our bedrooms or something. Or actually, no, I can't because I won't be here. I got a lot of shit going on, but at least I'm alive. 